Hi, I'm Dr. Darlene V. Willis. And I'm Marsha Dotson. And we're Empowering, Empowering Parents. Today's topic is a New Year's family resolution focusing on education. January 1, time to do things differently, you know, just a new start to the new year. So uh, let's talk about what families can do together to change the course of um, success. Right. Well, one of the things a family needs to do, first of all, is have their child's transcript so they know the road that, they're, that their child is on, the grades they're currently receiving, and then to sit down and go, okay, we know that it's, it's January. Our new, new Year's resolution for families is that we're going to get A's in this family. The expectations are A's. B's maybe, but A's. And now the kids all understand, okay, mom and dad said we're going to get A's. So now they know where they're going, and then they understand, are they fulfilling the requirements that they need to go to college? Are they taking four years of English or three years of math, and do they understand? the courses they need to take. And so once they, they have a resolution as a family that in our household, everybody's gonna do well in school. That's your job as a, as a child. You get, I go to work as a parent and you get A's in, 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 your, in your high school courses so that you're prepared to go to college, any college of your choice and not just the colleges that you might have to settle for because you didn't have a high GPA or didn't take the SAT or the ACT seriously. And we all hear about it. Every year, people make commitments. I'm going to make a New Year's resolution. And every time you turn around, what's your New Year's resolution? What's yours? And more times than, than not, most people say, I'm going to lose weight. Or, you know, I'm going to organize myself. Or, you know, I'm going to find a job. Whatever that New Year's resolution right. is. So we're saying to make that New Year's resolution, focus it on your family. Taking back control of your household. Doing just what Marcia said and reassessing you know, are my children bringing home good grades? Are they doing well in school? And what's a good grade? Also discuss that. What is a good grade? Is a good grade a B? Is it a C? Some parents say, I just get a D and pass that class. But if you want your child to go to college, then it really must be A's and B's and majority A's. So reassess, are they taking the correct courses, especially going back in January? So you need to find out, your child will have their schedule when they get home. You need to look at that class schedule in December and say, okay, hmm, this does not count. Health does not count toward A through G. But be careful because it might count toward a high school graduation requirement. And you want to make sure that you're not um, impeding them from graduating from high school. So you, you really have to be engaged and make that your family resolution that I'm going to be more engaged with my children and all of my children will have the choice of attending college.